Thank you, Congresswoman Kaptur, for your kind remarks and for attending our event today. I know that Ukrainian Americans from all along the North Coast, which includes me, are grateful for your commitment to U.S.-Ukrainian relations and to assisting the people of Ukraine over the past two decades. And I'd also like to mention that there were, uh, we are very grateful for uh, two other uh, co-chairs, two, two other co-chairs of the Congressional Ukrainian Caucus, Representatives Jim Gerlach of Pennsylvania and Sandra Levin of Michigan, as well as to Senator Ben Cardin of Maryland, who is chairman of the Helsinki Commission, who were kind enough to place statements in the congressional record as well about the work of Voice of America in conjunction with the 60th anniversary of the Ukrainian service. Next, I'm pleased to introduce to you one of the members of the club of six former U.S. ambassadors to Ukraine, William Green Miller. Although it's been over 10 years since he finished his tour of duty in Ukraine, Ambassador Miller remains actively engaged in U.S.-Ukrainian relations. As will become evident when you hear his remarks today, Ambassador Miller cares passionately about the Ukrainian people's quest for a more democratic, free, and prosperous future. Ambassador Miller. Congresswoman, uh, ambassadors, friends, friends of Ukraine, 60 years of the voice. And what that really means is two voices, Ukrainian voices and American voices talking to each other. Just think of the technologies, crackly shortwave radio, Sami's dot, the images of television, and now blogs, Twitters, and websites. But most important are the people who are here, who are the faces uh, and the minds and the intellects of America speaking to the faces and minds and intellects of Ukraine. There is now communication, there's real dialogue, and there's real understanding of each other's cultures. When the voice began, the first messages were censored. It didn't get through, but it got through in other ways, the mind of man and women can't be stopped. And what we have now is a, a keen understanding of our common humanity, the common purposes that we have in the world, and certainly the necessity to work together to achieve a better world. I was seated next to my very good friend Ole Shamshur, the ambassador of Ukraine to the United States. And we communicate as diplomats, sometimes in uh, very formal language, but most of the time when it's significant, face to face and heart to heart. We try and tell the truth. And this is the message of the, of the voice of America is that the truth really is the essence of freedom. And if we can speak honestly and from the heart as well as the mind, we can accomplish most things. So I want to uh, congratulate the people who have contributed over the years to the success of the Voice of America. It is a great endeavor, and it should be continued. It's obviously useful uh, to use the great uh, criterion of uh, success. If it's useful, keep working on it. So the voice has a, a, a present purpose, and I know it will have a future purpose. Uh, and I want to say how grateful I am to all of those who have worked on The Voice over the years for their service to the United States, 
to Ukraine, and I think to understanding throughout the world. It's a great mission that should be continued. It's a great mission that should be celebrated, and that's what we're doing here. So congratulations on 60 years of superb work. Thank you very much.